Hi guys, I'm going to do something a bit different for this video. Uh, it's I'm not entirely sure what to call it. It's sort of part tutorial and part just sort of a showcase showing uh, the process that I go through uh, to magnetise uh, a Space Marine Sergeant. Uh, the guy that I'll be using is from the uh, Space Marine Tactical Squad, uh, which is a 10-man squad of Space Marines that you can get generic Space Marines from Games Workshop. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is magnetising all of the weapon options for the Space Marine Sergeant, the uh, Special Weapons Guide, and I will be magnetising the arms for the Missile Launcher guy as well, just because uh, you know if you get another kit you might have other weapons that you want to put on this guy, like Army Tactical Squad with a loud cannon or a plasma cannon instead. But anyway, uh, this video is just going to be showing the sergeant. Uh, so yeah, that'll do for my my preamble. And uh, yeah, let me let me know what you think, guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, guys. So here's everything that's going to be used. Uh, I've got the three weapon options for each arm. It's the bolt pistol, plasma pistol and chainsawed, they will all be magnetised to the torso and into the shoulder pads. The torso will be glued together, but the, uh, the legs will be magnetised to the torso and both heads will also be magnetised. Uh, the banner pole will be magnetised to the top of the backpack and this uh, little tabard thing that goes on there at the front of his waist, that will probably be glued on. But here we have my pinning drill, it's got a 2mm drill bit in it with a bit of tape over the end. That is because these magnets are only uh, the 2mm across, it's the 2mm drill bit, but they're only half a millimetre deep. So the holes that I want to be drilling don't want to be more than half a millimetre deep. So the bit of tape here is to make sure there's a bit of a safeguard that I don't drill too far into these because it's going to be quite difficult to uh, judge as I'm drilling. So this is just like an extra safeguard to make sure I don't bugger it up too much. So yeah, there's all the pieces. They're all cleaned up, ready to go, uh, apart from the bottom of his feet, but we won't worry about that. So yeah, uh, I'm going to cut here and make a start. Alright guys, just to make sure I <coughs> Excuse me, just to make sure I get this done right, I've done uh, sort of a, a, a trial first before doing it on camera, uh, just to make sure that uh, it all goes to plan, it's a sound plan and things. So what's gone on here is in the uh, torso, I've glued both halves of the torso together and put one of the magnets in this part of the shoulder. There's also a magnet in the arm here and on the reverse side there's another magnet and that connects to on the shoulder pad on the inside there's a magnet in there as well so <coughs> this piece is just clipped together the arm snaps on there and is free moving. Now the magnets are pretty much flush. Uh, the one, this one here stands a little bit proud uh, but that's because I had a slight problem drilling in here and this is something I'll, I'll caution you guys about if you're uh, doing this. I used plastic glue to glue the two halves together and I'm not sure if I didn't leave it long enough to set or if it is just an issue that, that comes up from time to time but as I was uh, using the drill in here I was drilling sort of both sides of the seam and as the drill turned the, uh, the points, the edges of the drill caught on either side uh, of the seam and splayed it apart slightly so there was a bit of an issue there, but it's back together and it's, it's fine now. Um, 
but yeah just a caution there guys you need to be extra careful when you're uh, drilling across a seam like that or make sure you've got it sufficiently clamped if you've got one of the little desk mounted clamps or whatever it might be an idea to use that or just hold it uh, firmly but yeah uh, this is as you can see basically the idea of uh, what's going on with this with the arms and all of the others will be magnetized in the same way uh, with a magnet in both sides of the shoulder the inside and the outside so now I've uh, shown you what's what's what there I'm going to show you sort of the process that I went through and, and how I actually sort of apply these magnets to the miniature and I've got the plasma gun for the same arm here so I'm going to be drilling a hole in both sides for the magnet. Uh, so yeah, get my drill. I'll do the uh, the inside one first because it's slightly easier. Now on this arm, I noticed that it was sitting slightly high in the the shoulder joint. So what I'm going to do this this hole was drilled centrally in that sort of rough circle that is formed by the mould. So on this plasma pistol I'm going to drill slightly off centre and drill slightly lower, uh, higher I mean, because if the, yep yeah, anyway I'll just get on with it and stop rambling, um, just want to see the best way to, there we go, oh I've also taken the, the bit of tape off the end of the drill bit. Uh, the idea, as I said, was to make sure I didn't drill in too far, but the tape being over the end meant that the plastic that was being drilled out was uh, gathering and impeding the drill bit, so that that was not uh, particularly well thought out for this particular uh, project. So I think the, the distance was just too small, there wasn't room for the, the plastic to fr be free to fall out. So with this I'm just going to be judging it by eye, drilling in a little bit, checking it, making sure I haven't gone in too far. <coughs> this, uh, under sort of normal circumstances of course, half a millimetre is barely even noticeable but on this scale half a millimeter is uh, is a big deal so I've got the hole drilled in there. Now, uh, the way that I do this, just to make it sort of uh, easy on myself, uh, is with the super glue and the magnets, just to make sure that, uh, trying to get everything on the camera here, just to make sure that the polarity is right on the magnets, because obviously that, that would be a, a pretty serious problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is take my stick of magnets here, take the magnet that's already in there, see that, that's the wrong side, there we go. So these, yeah, take a magnet off, oh and I've got two there, so I'm tiny there, there we go. So I'm going to set that magnet on there, uh, so the polarity I know now guaranteed to be correct. And I'm going to take my super glue and very carefully 
ease out a little bit of the, the super glue. Excuse my shaking hands. Squeeze too hard because it uh, could explode. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> um, okay, so after you get the uh, the little bit of glue at the end, just gently sort of touch the the liquid to the magnet and you'll, it'll pull a little bit off and it'll kind of stick in a, a blob on the top of the magnet. Now take the, uh, the arm, the pre-drilled arm, place it over the magnet, there it goes, and then slide it off. Now that magnet is there the right way around with the polarity facing the right way and just to make sure it's in properly I'm just going to give it a push and what might happen here is a little bit of super glue could squirt out well not uh, squirt out but could leak a little out of uh, the side but hasn't done here so there we go that magnet is now firmly fixed in there with super glue with the polarity being the right way for the arm. So the next step is, and I'm just going to check this dry fitting. Yeah. Just to get a rough idea of where I want the uh, the hole to be. So I'm just going to drill again a. Uh, into the shoulder here, but on the opposite side. It is a little bit tricky to get the drill bit to bite to start with on the curved surface here, but once you've got it to bite, it's, uh, it's fairly simple to get it to keep going. So there again, got the uh, the pre-drilled hole there. I'm going to go through the same process. It's a little bit tricky with the inside of the shoulder pad, and I would do it the other way around, or I will do it the other way around with the other arm. But obviously, I've already got this magnet in the shoulder pad. Uh, so on the other arm, I'll be doing the arms first uh, to get the magnet right. Peel off one of the magnets. Connect it there. Let that snap on. So that is the right way around. Take my super glue again with the uh, little bit of the fluid sticking out the end. Just lightly touch it to the magnet to let it sort of peel off a bit of the liquid. Try and get a little bit more on there. Okay, and then same process as before, line it up 
push it into place slide it off and there we have the magnet guaranteed to be the right polarity just push it in make sure it's in there properly there we go. and that one's uh, as you can see that one's not quite flush that is sticking out a little Yeah, so that's not too bad. That that'll be uh, barely noticeable. So now we have the, uh, the torso, and already with two weapon weapon options for that arm. So he's got the uh, the plasma pistol there. So yeah, that's the uh, the process that I go through, guys. Uh, hopefully that's been a little bit helpful to anyone who's just starting. This has been made possible by uh, D20 Gaming, who supplied the Space Marine Tactical Squad for this project. Um, I will go away now, get on with the magnetization, drilling the, the other uh, weapon options and the heads. And... Uh, I'll give you a quick look at the finished piece once it's got all of the magnetization options. Right guys, so here he is, fully magnetized, as you can see. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you, as you will see. Um, so, first things first, he has a magnet in his waist here. Now the reason it's not central in the top, which is where ideally I would have liked to put it, is because in drilling into the torso, into the underside of the torso, uh, I found that I couldn't drill deep enough for the magnet without breaking through uh, and making it impossible to, well not impossible, but difficult to fix the magnet centrally in the upper torso, the underside of the torso rather. So, uh, in order to uh, fit the magnet effectively, it had to be at the front. It could have been at the back or off to the side, but uh, I chose to put it at the front there. So, uh, first things first, let's connect the torso. Now, what I've done here is, as you, did you see, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, the torso, both halves are stuck together, and the tabard I believe it's called, loincloth, whatever, is also fixed to this piece and there's the magnet and so you see the hole I drilled that it broke through and there's the magnet on the inside there. So his torso is magnetized onto his legs. The backpack has two magnets in it just for stability but not necessarily not necessary for the weight but just for the stability because with just with just one magnet in the, the middle there the backpack would wobble about far too much so for the sake of uh, stability there's two magnets there there is also a magnet on the top here and also a magnet in the bottom of the banner pole so the banner pole magnetizes onto the top. Uh, there's also a choice of two heads, both magnetized. There is the, let's see if I can get this, the magnetized, the magnetized, the helmeted head, and I will drop that in there. Oh, no, I'll just drop it. There we go. So that's one head. Uh, as I said, I think, in the previous video, the shoulder pads are magnetized 
and each of the arms has two magnets, one in the, on the outside, one on the inside. So the arm magnetizes to the magnet that is on the torso, and the shoulder pad magnetizes to the shoulder. And obviously that is the case uh, for both arms. We'll give it um, plasma pistol. And obviously the, uh, the other shoulder pad. There we go. So there is a fully magnetized Space Marine Sergeant from the standard Space Marine Tactical Squad box that you can get from Grange Workshop. Now I'll just run through uh, a few of the other options just to give you guys the look. Uh, we'll, we'll give this guy two chainsaws. swap the head this the second head is uh, the one with the half of the skull showing uh, so when this gets painted up um, it's gonna yeah I think it's gonna look really cool uh, the next update you'll get uh, on this guy will be him fully painted so you'll be able to see what's gone on there uh, let's switch him out a little bit more, we'll give him uh, let's stick a bolt pistol on that arm there we go so anyway guys, y you get the picture, uh, the arms I say fully posable, they're, they're magnetised for the shoulders, that's all six. Uh, I'll just, if you uh, bear with me for a moment. Alright, so you've got the guy there with the bolt pistol, chain sword, and the other options are all there, all magnetised. So you can choose between having the plasma pistol, bolt pistol or chain sword in any configuration for this guy. Also obviously the two heads, uh, you can have the banner pole attached or not and I figured magnetizing the backpack would mean that at some point in the future theoretically uh, you could choose to put a jump pack on this guy um, but obviously that would be something to decide at a later date so yeah there it is guys uh, thanks for watching I also have the uh, the special weapons guy to magnetize from this kit I haven't done him yet so if you guys would like to see a similar video showing the magnetization of the special weapons guy which is essentially the same just the arms are gonna have to be dealt with slightly differently uh, due to the, the fact that he's holding one weapon in two hands. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to see a similar video for the special weapons guy, again, only using the parts provided in the uh, tactical uh, squad box from Games Workshop, then uh, leave, leave it in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to provide that. But I think as far as this sort of half showcase, half tutorial, half something else because everything's got three halves obviously <laughs> uh, I think this covers it everything that I, I wanted to show um, but anyway there it is guys I'll stop rambling now thanks for watching and see you in the next one